welcome to my channel. Well, it's another late night journey into the past. Uh, Toby gets these, I don't know where he gets them exactly from, but he, he finds these old Smoky Mountain Knife Works catalogs and sends them to me. And um, this one is from 1992. Now, the last one we looked at was 1994. So we're going back even further in time. Now, rather than jump through the whole thing, I just wanted to jump to one because um, R.J. Nyes, I think, was talking about uh, Gerber's or Thrifty Knifty. Anna, sorry about that, guys. One of you two were talking about Gerber's a lot in the LSTs and stuff recently. And so this is what you could have gotten from Smokey's at that price in 1992 all right so it's got some of these you know this is some of their newer stuff that they were coming out new for 92 the gerber gator gator mates partially serrated blade and everything and look at this an imperial fish knife all right how much would that cost Two forty nine, two dollar forty nine cents. Six of them for twelve. See, that's why these things are all inexpensive. Dollar ninety nine, two ninety nine, two forty nine. But now you're lucky to get them in good shape like that. Ten, fifteen dollars, maybe more on eBay. Roy Rogers trick knife. What's the trick about it? Amuse your friends. A special trick blade lock mechanism. To lock or unlock your blade, simply press on the top of a blade down and turn on end. Huh. That sounds tricky. Alright, so we get over to the other Gerbers. I don't know if this is too zoomed in for you. Gerber Buddy System 2. 1699. 440 stainless. A lot of these times they wouldn't list the steel. Now I've had some of these. I had the the little LST and the bigger one. I could find the little one or the big one. I don't know. I've got one of those two I can find. But the other one's missing. Stallion Gators. Look at these prices. 30 bucks. All right. So here we're getting into the good stuff. The Mark II, $55. I've got that one too. The Guardian, $40. I used to have this, the Mark I Tactical. I had all of them. I had that one, that one, and that one. My ex-wife got that one. I never saw those Cliplock River knives. I have one of the, uh, not, not the exchanger, this one right here. The bolt action. The exchange looks interesting. And here's one with a gut hook. And then there's, what do they call that one? The Magnum. <clears throat> and then here's a bolt action turned into like the Parabellum, basically. Just put a bigger Zytel handle on it. DuPont Zytel. <clears throat> right. So there you go. So they got that. That was pretty interesting. And here's the case knives. Curly Maple. You could have got a little copper head for $22.99. Like that one. The Lockback. <coughs> we have over here a Case Stag. $37. Man. 
we'd go crazy with prices like this. We'd be buying these out. They'd have to be starting up another manufacturing line for all the orders. Pretty good prices in 92. Pure gold yellow handles. Look at that, man. These are like Rough Rider prices. $17.99. Coke bottle. Gents knife. Yellow knives matter. Even back then. Dark red bone. I like that. Kanuji there. $33. It's about double that now. That's not bad, considering inflation and everything. You know, inflation is going through the roof. <clears throat> We're toast as America, as a country. I hope we pull out of this. But I... <clears throat> I have my hopes. What do we got here? Sodbusters, sixteen ninety nine. Quit bouncing. Get everybody seasick. Ooh, I like that one. It's an electrician's knife with a little hawk bill. $16. What's our camp knife go for? $18. Chrome vanadium. Yeah. Good prices on this stuff. If only we could go back in time with a big wad of cash or gold or whatever and spend away lock blades I'm going through these pretty fast you can pause it catch the prices later but yeah late night is the best time to uh, to do a video or to really do anything because it's so quiet. Something woke me up. You know how ammo cans will expand? They go, bunk. I, I've got one in here that I... It's a 30 caliber ammo can. I think it did that temperature change thing because, man, it, it sounded like somebody firing a handgun inside a room. <laughs> I went, what the hell? Turned on my scanner, I didn't hear any police coming or anything, so I don't know what's I don't know what that was. Ooh, look, there's that case canoe thing again. It's a different handle. How much was that? E. Thirty dollar. Man, that's pretty good. Pen knife, pen knife, jack knife. See you don't sometimes you get to see things in here where they don't genuine stag handles. Yeah, three or more. Discovery of America. Introductory price. Those are probably worth a pretty penny now. If it's 150 back then, now it's probably 500 or more. Probably a thousand. You can still get these, these kind of like standard little cases, silver, and like this. This is the Zippo version, Zippoloid. Does it say Zippo on it? I think it does, yeah. Zippo. Stainless. Let's compare him. Ooh, ooh, do we not look similar? Yes, we do. Except it says case on that one. These are made by case. Pretty cool little knife. All right. Let's get to another page. Let's see what the other page is. Kershaw. Here's some Bokermatic. I remember when that was popular. It just lifts up slides and locks up, but it's like an OTF. Scary. Scary knife. Maybe it was new back then. Pearl Harbor commemorative. Christopher Columbus. Upinel. Ogre Mallard. Razor knife. $9.99. German quality man. 
We'd kill our neighbor for that. Oh, you got one of those? What? I got it for nine ninety nine back in ninety two. Buckles, All right. Winchester knives. Now these are Winchesters when they were. I don't know if they. The genuine stag. Winchester switched over to China manufacturing. I don't know if these. Usually they'll say, USA. These are like. Authorized replicas of 50-year-old Winchester knife patterns. I like that one. That one's good, too. He's got a big, thick blade on him. It's like a Warncliffe kind of Whittler thing. Even a doctor's knife without a spatula. Or this one's a doctor knife. That's weird. He's kind of thicker. I thought that's a gunboat. Gunstock, I mean. That's a gunstock one there. Right, let's check it, let's verify it. Let's see, two, yep, two blade stag gun stock. I almost look like a, another doctor's knife. Pretty cool, genuine bonehead. Three blade whittler. See, some of these patterns, ooh, look, you got a nice device like that one. One blade toothpick, five inch clothes. Thirty nine ninety nine. Remember, these are 92 prices. Don't go looking in the catalog saying, hey, hey, wait a minute. William, just show the latest catalog. Yeah, it was the latest catalog for 92. <laughs> Remington Bullet Knives. $65 for a big trapper. The year of 89 and 90. I like some of these signs they got there, too. Who's this guy? What's he called? There's no letter. I'm confused. They've confused me. We'll call it this one. $45. Knife poster. $24.99. $19.99. That's a lot. Even from nowadays. Commemorative shotgun. Silver bullet 2. Four forty. Mini Trapper. So many about it. Doesn't look mini to me. Oh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Another Remington bullet knife. That's almost GEC looking right there, man. The way that thing looks. Ooh. ooh. Daddy Barlow. $39.99. Bullet knife belt buckle. Companion poster. They got a poster there of. Huh. Looks like somebody getting stabbed in the back. What? I don't know what that is. Some weird poster. Rimoil. 1999. Alright, let's get over here. Remington Sportsman Series. Can't get this all on one page. Ooh, look, a little pick. Got a little pick there. Ooh, that's a nice configuration. You got a little saw blade. I like it when they put a little saw there. Ooh, gutter hook or whatever that thing is, and a shotgun choke adjuster. Oh my god. Don't put your thumb. That's not jumping. <laughs> yeah, that's somebody. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's not jumping. <laughs> eh, we'll call that. That's not jumping knife. Skinner. Yeah, it's going to skin your thumb real well. I think that's got jumping. Ooh, cool. I like these posters. These are metallic signs, I guess. Blasting them. Duck in a butt with a double barrel shotgun. All right. Scrimshaw limited edition. Focus you mountain goat. Focus you mountain goat. Scrimshaw. Made in USA. Charade cutlery. Oh, look, got a little. 
thingamajiggy here. Tradesman quality tools. Oh, those look like a Chinese kind of knockoff type of thing. Made in Ireland. Oh, okay. Certainly farmed it out to Ireland. I've heard mixed qualities about Ireland stuff, you know. I mean, trade. Old timer. All right. Here's the prices you could have got them for back in 92. Pretty cheap. Nothing over $20. The 8OT Senior is one of the most expensive ones in there. Let's see what he is. M there you are. Looks like a stockman. The big stockman. Trying to get that glare out of the way and get it to focus. Focus not on the glare. Focus over there. Ooh, ooh, scissors. Scissors. What's that one called? It's called a granddad. Granddad. 106 OT granddad. Huh. All right, granddaddy. What do we got down here? Sharp finger. What was the sharp finger going for? $17.99. That looks like a buck copy right there. Cave Bear, $26. I think they call that something else now. Uncle Henry. Stegalon. Genuine leather sheaths built to last a lifetime. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Charade. And then Bear Balasong. 16. How to cut your fingers, how to cut your fingers. All right, we got, I don't want to let this go long because it takes me forever. But ooh, look at these. <laughs> Riders of the Silver Screen. Uh, recently you could get quite a few of these. Now, it's not as easy. I think I got Zorro. Maybe one other. But those are cool. And how much would they have costed you back then? That's the poster. Uh, 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 uh. How much are they? I can't tell. Is there a price there and I'm just not seeing it? I'm not seeing it. There's something wrong with my eyes. How much are they? Can't be $26 each on those. Can't be. Can it? Maybe it can. Huh. Because you can get them less than that now. Of course, this was... I don't know who made it. Maybe I'm thinking about these guys. They're $4.99 each. Man, that has not gone up. Those novelty knives, that price has not gone up. Maybe the difference is those are... were made in America, and now they're made in China. I don't know. It says USA, yeah. That's the difference. They're charging the same price, but now they're made in China. Tom Mix. Wild Bill Hiccup. Zoil. Lash LaRue. Little Annie Oakley. Gene Autry. Singing Cowboy. Hop Along Cassidy. Man, he, I watched a couple of his. He's like an old guy. He's it just like pissed all the time, it seemed like. That's his thing. Red Rider and Little Beaver. They don't show Little Beaver there, but I think Little Beaver's on the back side. Roy Rogers and Tonto, Dale Evans, Dog. Roy Roger and Trigger. Trigger's the 
horse, not the trigger runners. Trigger. Got this rope. You know, we already got Zorro. Those are pretty cool. It describes them all down here. Gene Autry. Carbon steel blade. Red Rider. A boy's first knife. It is if you give it to him. Don't give it to him. It ain't going to be his first knife. I think you can still get this sometimes. Fairly inexpensive. Look at that. You got all these little cowboy posters. Oh, here's her. I'll send in this order for him. <laughs> I don't even know if they're in. Maybe if that's an active post office box anymore. Barlow. Sunset Barlow series. What do we got here? Tonto. Red Ryber and Little Beaver. <laughs> Gene Autry. He didn't name his horse, did he? Or did he kill his horse and eat it? Well, these you can barely see. They're saying something. Huh. Huh. Ooh, I like to have these posters. Those are cool. Decorator signs, $9.99. All right, we're going to go one more page, and then that's it, because... Metal Glow. That's like Flitz. Nylon Sheaths. Yeah, that's about what they're worth nowadays. What they cost. Miracle Cloth. Put it on anything, and a miracle happens. Pocket Stones. Knife Rack. Not bad prices, man. Oh, to have money and go back in time. All right, so we'll leave it at that. There's other good stuff in here. Frost Cutlery. Hen and Rooster. Hen and Rooster were expensive back then. Quality knives. You're going to get seasick from this one. Or I should say, warning, this video requires Dramamine. Ooh, I like that down there. Tobacco Stockman. Big Stabber. What are these? Alright. Enough of your seasickness. We'll I'll show one more thing of Hen and Rooster over here. Solid in Germany. Man, they got a lot of reverse frosting going on. Mini Canoe. Boy, I mean, what are these? Deer Stag, Bone Stag, Mother of Pearl, and My Carta. How much is that little Mother of Pearl guy there? $66. Wow. They're probably worth quite a bit more nowadays. All right, so there you go. There was a little dip into Smokies. Catalog here. Camillus. Got some Camillus for you. Thought you'd give me a little dose of Camillus. That's not jimping. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Don't worry, the world will carry on no matter what media says is happening, how badly they tell you you've got it. We're still here. Right? Right. Right. Get off your belt. Look, he's laying on his back. Crazy. Crazy tiger. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day, night, or evening.